What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer your PlayStation 4 Spider-Man save files onto your PlayStation 5's Spider-Man Remastered. Not only will this transfer the save files, but it will also transfer all of your trophies, so if you have the Platinum, it will automatically pop the Platinum for the Spider-Man Remaster for the PlayStation 5 version. Now I'm still going to be doing a playthrough of the PlayStation 5 version and putting that on the channel as well, but I do like the idea of instant popping the Platinum. So recently the Spider-Man Remastered game for the PlayStation 5 had a discount for the upgrade to get this game if you had the PlayStation 4 version, and I think it was only a $10 or $15 upgrade if you had the PS4 version, which I thought was a great deal. So on the PlayStation 5 here, by the way I have both the PlayStation 4 and PS5 hooked up to the TV, but on the PlayStation 5 here you're going to open it up, and you can see in the bottom right corner, just like Miles Morales, there is the press R1 to download the PS4 save file. But first, you have to go on your PlayStation 4 and transfer those files. So switching over to the PlayStation 4, you can see here that I already have the game beats and also have some of the DLC. I don't think any of the DLC will tr uh, transfer, but it does say that I can start the new game plus. So we are going to be transferring that save file here. So on the PlayStation 4, you're going to press R1 to upload the save file. So press R1. It says upload here. You can only save can be transferred at a time. And you're going to press X to confirm the transfer. And then now you're going to go... Once it says successful upload, you're going to switch back to your PlayStation 5 and you're going to download it. So on the PlayStation 5, you can go ahead and hit R1 and it will ask you to download the PlayStation 4 console save file. You're going to hit X and then you're going to wait for it to download like it did here. It says successful and all of the trophies are starting to pop in the top right. So I'm going to hit X here. And there is the Platinum to check all of the trophies. We're going to open this up here. And you see that 51 of 51 trophies did pop. We do have the Platinum. We do have all the main story trophies for the game, which is awesome. And then right here, we do have the save file that is transferred over from back in 2020 whenever I did Platinum the game. And we can start the new game plus, which is what I'm going to do is doing the playthrough for the channel. So I did want to still play the PS5 version of the game, the remastered version on the PlayStation 5. But since I seen that I could transfer my files and I still had my PS4, I decided to just go ahead and transfer the files. I didn't really intend for the platinum to auto pop because I did want to grind out and get the platinum. But now I'll be able to successfully go and just play the trophy or sorry, play the game and just enjoy the game and starting with everything that I have upgraded on my Spider-Man, which I think is going to be a lot of fun to go through for a series on the channel. Key takeaways for this is obviously you do need to have the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. You do have to have the PlayStation 4 version of the game saved on the PlayStation 4, and you do have to have the PlayStation 5 remaster of Spider-Man on the PlayStation 5. You have to have both of them signed in and preferably connected to the TV. You don't need to have them connected to the TV at the same time if you only have one HDMI cord. Simply go on the PlayStation 4, connect it to the TV, do the uh, transfer, then connect the HDMI cord to the PS5, and then download the transfer. So it's quite easy to do. And I'm just really interested in the fact that this is the first game on the PlayStation 5 that it's a, its own version, yet it auto pops the trophies. So going from the PlayStation 4 version to the PlayStation 5 version, which the PlayStation 5 is technically a remaster for the trophies to just auto pop was very, very cool to experience. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one and stay tuned for this series on the channel. Peace.